ever feel like your business is juggling too many tools, like one for inventory, another for accounting, and a third just to track customers? What if I told you there is one software that can handle it all, and it's completely open source and customizable? Well, that's ERP Next, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how it works and how you can set it up for your business. Now, ERP Next is an open source enterprise resource planning or ERP software designed for small to medium businesses. It's absolutely free to use if you decide to host it locally. However, for online hosting or cloud hosting, there are some plans to choose from if you are ready to spend some extra bucks. So for small businesses, starting from $5 per month for the shared hosting and for a dedicated and premium hosting, it's from $200 per month. Of course, you can view here the comparison of the two plans if you decide to go ahead and opt for online hosting. However, as I told you, for local hosting, it's completely open source and free. Now, think of ERP Next as your business command center. Whether you're handling invoices, managing employees, or tracking inventory, everything is connected to one place. Now, if you go to their website, that's erpnext.com, you'll land on this page right here. Now, you can contact them if you have any questions. You can explore the demo, which we are going to do a bit later in the video, or to start like using the platform, you can get your free trial. If I click on start free trial right here, you can enter your company name, first name, last name, country, email address, and create account, or you can sign up with Google right here. However, for this video, we are going to go ahead and just show you how to use it and the capabilities and the different options through a demo account. So if I click on explore demo right here, a new tab will open, revealing your main dashboard. Of course, this is like a demo account with uh, dummy information, data, and analytics. However, it's plenty to show you how to go around and view all the settings and see what they do. Now, here is the home main dashboard. You can see all your statistics right here, the income expense and net profit loss in the simple graph view. Now, if you go here to any date like from April to June, for example, I can see if I hover my mouse over it, I can see a uh, like detailed overview of the income expenses and net profit loss. And here you have your main menu on the left. So here is the home. If I scroll down, I can see like uh, shortcuts for all my main tools right here, the item, supplier, sales invoices, leaderboard, and everything, as well as shortcuts to accounting, like chart of accounts, company, customer supplier, the stock, and CRM or customer relationship management. Now, if I go to the menu here on the left and go to projects, for example, you can see all the projects that I'm on. And currently it says that I have a project. Of course, these are like fake dummy data. If I click on project, I can see all the eight open projects right here. I can see their status, the project type, the expected end time, estimated cost, and everything. And if I click on any of the projects, I can view all the information, the product tasks, timesheet, issue, purchase order, all the information related to any aspects of this project. And I can also edit the project details such as name, status, expected start date, and everything. Now let's go back here and let's check all the menu items. Now here under accounting, if I go to accounting, you have the payables and receivables and financial reports. So in accounting here, I can see profit and loss. And I can see all the shortcuts for all settings related to accounting. So charts of accounts, sales invoices, purchase invoices, account masters, payment tax masters, banking, multi-currency, cost center and budgeting and everything. If I go ahead and check the financial reports, I can see here all the financial reports that I can get. Now for buying, I can see all the items that I have. Of course, this is the purchases order trend here through the month or through the months of the year. And if I go to item, I can see I have 62 items available. Of course, all of these are like dummy items. So as you can see, I can scroll through them. I can view them. I can view all the favorites and I can view the item code, item group and everything. Now here I can show I'm only showing 20. If I show 100, I can now go and scroll through all the available items that I have. Now let's go back here 
and I also can see the material request the purchase order I can see here I have 17 order to receive the purchase analytics and so much more now in the selling I can also view the items the sale order sales analytics and point of sales and dashboard and everything and I can view the sales order trends over the year now in stock I can view all the settings related to the stock here the total warehouse that I have total active items 62 as I showed you the total stock value for me and I can see all the quick access settings like the items details the delivery note material requests and everything now here I have assets which is where you can see all your asset settings from assets category fixed asset register dashboard the reports and masters assets maintenance and reports as well and here you have the HR or human resources with all these settings on how to manage your employees so here I have four active employees I can view the leave applications the HR dashboard the recruitment dashboard employees life cycle dashboard attendance dashboard and expenses claims dashboard and I can view all the settings related to recruitment employees life cycle performance shift attendance and so much more so let's view for example the attendance dashboard for the four employees that I have so the total present for this month is one employee the late entry is one only and I can view here in a graph now let's go back to the main dashboard and next we have payroll where you can manage all the payroll employees like for example the settings related to salary slip salary register and so much more and if we expand these settings you can see here the salary payout the tax and benefits so all the settings related to salary payout tax and benefits and so much more and now for manufacturing you have all these shortcuts related to manufacturing such as BOM creator the BOM BOM stock report production plan and so much more now you have CRM or customer relationship management as you can see I have one lead opened and one opportunity assigned to me so for example if I go to opportunity I can see here this is a test customer I can see here the title the status the series where this opportunity is from the opportunity type ID and everything now let's go back and then go to CRM once again and let's view the lead here I have one lead which is data solutions the status is open organization is data solutions in territory ID and everything now going back you have quality you have project I already showed you the projects view and here you can go to support and then the ERP next settings now note that this is only a demo account with demo data you can access the full features for 14 days free trial or contact them to get help if you want to now I highly encourage you as an entrepreneur or a small business owner to go ahead and explore the suite of tools available here at ERP Next in order to leverage your business and increase your sales.